the timing and know-how arena. The timing and know-how arena represents the true chess game of innovation and imitation that underlies product evolution and the successful adaptations firms undertake to stay in the game. Hypercompetition's emphasis on these tactical plays and counterplays has had a salubrious impact on strategy research generally. RBV has clearly evolved from static resources toward dynamic capabilities, which stresses the ability to manage and organize various types of resources dynamically, and thus increasingly incorporates a more explicit hypercompetitive view of sequential advantages.62. But, Whereas Davenny's initial tome clearly emphasized the importance of managerial decisions to launch strategic interactions, arguably other literatures are only now catching up with this behavioral aspect of competition. For instance, the dynamic capability literature increasingly focuses on managers, and how they scan the environment and respond with reactive decisions. As prominent strategy scholar David Tease recently explained, sensing and shaping, new opportunities is very much a scanning, creation, learning, and interpretive activity. 63. Simply, we reiterate recent calls by others to go to managers to gain primary data on how competitive moves are implemented. 64 An emphasis on increasing our understanding of the managerial aspect reflects our earlier contention that the depictions of hypercompetition were best received by managers versus academics, because they resonated with managerial reality. Hypercompetition research should rightly claim its original stake in managerial decision-making and empirically pursue investigations on how firms best implement timing and know-how in strategic interactions. For instance, a recent hypercompetition study indicated top management teams must avoid destructive conflict in favor of well-integrated group behaviors. In the face of hyper-competitive uncertainty, positive behavioral integration raised the levels of competitive interactions and was related to increased performance.65 As hyper-competition research elaborates the strategic interactions of first-mover innovation and second-mover imitation, it should include the contingencies of how to configure top management teams and structure decision processes. Such prescriptions must balance for instance. The need for diversity for comprehensive scanning and successful competitive actions, 66 while reigning in differences that can create disruptive conflict. Accordingly, it must also address how compensation plays a role in top management team functioning. 67. 